We represent the whole Northwest though. I mean, Portland, Seattle is one and the same kind of to us. Definitely there's a mood there because of the weather. Everyone knows that it rains all the time and, and the weather kind of dampens your spirits. Um, and it shows in a lot of the music that comes out of the Northwest, it's a little bit darker. Obviously what, what people are, were exposed to was the grunge era, the Nirvana and Pearl Jam and things like that. And that kind of created an industry. And, and that was a legacy that the town set. Hip hop was always pushed to the side in the town. So we built it and we built it and we built it and we built it. We threw our own shows, we promoted our own shows, we did our own radio, we did everything. There's no, there was nothing there. When we're back home, it's really taking it easy, being around family, going out with friends, having a few drinks, working on music. So we just try to stay busy and just create as much as possible. And I think because of how hard we've had to work, it keeps us on our hustle and it keeps True. us moving. And no, one, no one really taught us how to do this. Man, as far as the struggle goes, when I first started doing it, I figured there'd come a point as soon as I was touring, I was, you know, that's all I'd have to do and just kind of be able to enjoy it. And it's not as, as glamorous as you think, but we'll go on tour for two months. We'll go take a job. Like I was working at Amazon.com. He's working at Comcast. You know, we take a job for a couple months, go again, you know, basically do that. I mean, cats aren't trying to be broke, you know what I mean? Until we're able to completely live off this and, you know, not even be rich, but just be able to maintain and not be stressing in the middle, we're just going to keep doing and doing whatever it takes to get out there.